All right, here we have one of our drill presses here in the shop. We have two different types of drill presses, but they all essentially work the same. Let's show you some of the parts first. This is considered the chuck, and this is the chuck key. The chuck is where you put all your bits into, and then this is the rotating piece that turns that bit to go into your wood, your metal, whatever stock you're using. This is the table. The table can be adjusted. It has an adjustment down here uh, if we want to turn it at all um, and have it in a different position. This in my hand is a drill bit. This is what goes into the chuck and locks in. This is an eighth inch bit. It doesn't really matter, but it is good to know which kind of bit you're using before you use your machine. The other thing I want to show you down here is how to raise and lower the table. There's a little safety, or there's a little, sorry, not a safety, a lock on the back here. If I loosen it, now when I use this wheel, I can go up and I can go down. So depending on how big of the stock is that you're cutting through um, and how far you want the drill bit to go down, you can adjust that stuff. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit since we don't have a very big piece that we're going to be demoing for you today. All right, now that we have that set, now it's time to put our bit in here. So the most important thing to do is make sure that your drill bit is straight in the center of the teeth that are gonna tighten down on it. So when you tighten righty tighty lefty loosey, I have it hand tightened as far as I can go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chuck key, I'm gonna insert it into one of the chuck holes and you just make sure that it's tight so it can't go anywhere, okay? Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to have my stock here. Now, ahead of time, you wanna mark where your holes are going to go. We always encourage, when you're gonna be marking spaces that you measure properly, but just for demonstration purposes of this video, this is the other thing we wanna show you. This is how you should be marking your holes so that you have X marking the spot. You wanna go right down the center, not a circle that could be mismarked. So now that we have that marked, the next thing we're gonna do with the machine off is we are going to use our, um, our wheel here to raise and lower to make sure that we can see how it works. So we're going to bring this down, make sure we know right where the X is. And then I'm going to bring this up. You can see I never let go of the levers. I hold on to them. For an added safety, we're going to put the clamp on here. We're going to clamp down our stock to the table. Give us a little extra support. I'm also gonna keep my left hand here holding down our stock before we cut. <coughs> Check it one more time. Yep, perfect. Now, before I start, safety again. I have my safety glasses. You'll see I've removed all jewelry. I have no hair, so I don't have to worry about that. And my shoes are closed-toed shoes, so I'm good to go. Short sleeve shirts, so I don't have to worry about those things either. <coughs> okay, to turn this on, you always gotta make sure you notice how these work. For this machine, you push up. Now, we wait till the drill bit is going at its optimal speed, which it is now going. We're going to make sure we notice that the drill bit, too, isn't wobbling at all. If it's wobbling, you didn't put it in right. So now I'm going to hold down for uh, my piece of wood. I'm going to bring the wheel around. For this drill, we're going to be going all the way through the stock. Usually you can feel when the bit goes through. I can tell it went through as well slowly bring the wheel back up, holding down your stock with your other hand until it can't go anymore. Turn off the machine, wait till it's done spinning. Then you can loosen up your clamp. You can move to the next space. Make sure your piece is lined up where it needs to be. Clamp it down and do the process all over again. And that's how you safely use the drill, drill press. When we're done again, bring out the hand broom, the dust pan, wipe up all the chips. Don't forget to hit up the table where there may be stuff sitting on there. Throw this into the dumpster or by the, uh, the, the uh, ventilation system so I can suck it up and you're done.